Hello everyone and welcome to Beat Me, the Battlecon analysis show where I, your host, Marco DeSantos, try not to lose Battlecon super hard. I'll be super honest with you guys, I actually played a few games of Battlecon online off camera because I wasn't at home and I just wanted to play some games. So you gotta, you gotta understand that I love this game a lot, okay? So I'm sorry. I did learn a few things along the way and one important thing was that I was playing Riflem all wrong. So apparently you're not supposed to play Riflem like a regular character, you're supposed to think about the future. That's why his quote is Together we will forge the future. Because you have to not think about the current beat. When you're playing as Riflum, you have to think about the next beat or the next seven or the next six. So when you play him, it's actually really good to do stuff that seems really silly. Oh, here we go again. Okay, so this is the Riflum mirror, I guess. So substantial's been changed. Um, and apparently Alchemic's now his worst attack, so there's that, uh... Alright, so, here's the deal. Even if I'm at range 6 from the opponents, for example here, and then here, I should probably still do something like a drive, because Riflum is all about upgrading specific bases, and you don't want to delay a lot of your bases just because your attack won't hit, or just because your attack might lose. Um, you gain those bonuses at reveal anyway, so like no matter how the beat turns out, you're kind of doing fine. My opponent can do any number of silly things today. Um... So I heard that this was a good play. So actually I'm fighting against one of the people who plays Riflem the best. Uh, his name is Tyrion Kin, or also known as D. Uh, and he's pretty good. <laughs> So I don't really um, expect my chances to do all that well. So apparently this attack is good. With my opponent having similar discards to me, um, I'm not sure how to actually play this matchup very well. And it's very weird that I got into a mirror match with Riflum. So here we go again. This is just the first game all over again. Um, We'll see what my opponent does. He gains plus one power. He's probably doing a gr blue strike. Blue strike. What's the name of that attack? Transformative. Yes, transformative. Um, so that means I'll be faster. So I'll probably pass. So uh, force efficiency is very important. You know, we don't want to accidentally just waste force uh, because extra two priority, extra one power, extra two stun guard is really important. So if you don't feel like you need it, you shouldn't really be anti-ing it. Yup. Oh, it's a residual strike. Even worse than I was expecting. Oh, this is gonna hurt me a lot. We'll probably hug the center, so it's very important in Battlecon that you want to hug the center space, especially when your opponent, um, especially when you start getting access to your burst, which I'll be getting next beat. So if I, I had gone here, that would have been really bad because it would have disabled my um, retreat two from burst, and that's not a good. Uh, my opponent will hit me for five here. It'll be disgustingly powerful. Ah. End phase. Hit force. Let's not move. And we'll let my opponent move wherever they want. So Residual got the buff by getting that end of beat move up to one. It's pretty powerful. Um, little effects like that can mean a big difference in a game like Battlecon, so... Yep, he chose not to move as well, which was to be expected. Well, he doesn't have burst. So I can just play this with power. No, no, because he has alchemical, right. 
So I'll play this with range. So transformative strike plus range. Uh, that way his alchemical can't um, mess with me. I think the only way alchemical would mess with me is if he does alchemical grasp. Grasps me here and retreats too. But I only take two damage then and that's fine, right? Uh, but I'm also thinking about the next beat, again. Because transformative strike lets me... Um, in the future, I want transformative strike to have a lot of range. So... Putting range onto strike is very good. Uh, if he clashes this, that's fine too. Uh, Rifflem's biggest weakness and strength apparently is clashing because um, clashing is bad because he's easily clashable, but it's not that bad because you get to keep the base that got buffed. So if I pump all of these stats onto this base, I get it back next beat, and that's a good thing. Um, it seems he didn't anti anything, so this might be a dodge or it might just be a, um, a burst. Uh, no, not a burst. Yeah, it's a dodge. It's a clash. So Oh man, I think I did the wrong play. Because if he does drive, I lose. Yeah. Let's begin. Should have dodged. That was severely wrong on my part. What? I should have played dodge to clash his alchemic drive. Right, right. See, this is the problem with short timers. I'm definitely not being able to play uh, properly because of them. But that's fine. That means that base is now back in my hand. But now he has burst. So, so, as you see, my strategy has been to super buff Strike and Grasp. So, uh, I Strike and Grive. And my unique base, I decided to cycle it. So, I could have dodged that last beat. That's fine, right? Um, so, I, I'm, I'm making a lot of quote-unquote misplays here, but that's fine. Will my opponent dodge is the real question here. Probably will dodge. That's fine. I'll dodge next beat. You want to super buff this strike. Um, because Riflum takes a big advantage of this kind of stuff. So now all of my experimental strikes and all of my transformative strikes will be super strong. Yeah. I should have dodged. I should have dodged. I'm so mad. I should have dodged. See, this is the problem with small short timers, man. It's still, it's still, it's still a uh, practice, dude. I still need more practice. Um, we're gonna pass. Uh, we'll see. Is this the dodge? Yep, another dodge. Which is fine. He'll probably corner me. Yep. Let's begin. So he'll he'll dodge here. I'll go here because of my mandatory advance effect. This disables my bursts, and it actually, um, quote-unquote, forces me to um, play dodge, right? But that's fine. I can play this. Does he still have the prio? He still has the prio. So I'll play Alch Alchemic Drive. I'm probably gonna eat that strike of his, aren't I? That's what I'm gonna eat. I'm so sure. Um... So what we should actually do is play Alchemic Dodge, um, 
reveal, gain that one priority, clash him, and then drive afterwards. Now we'll see what he does. Um, I'll pass. So the game's still bugged. Um, if you notice in the last beat, I had one priority, he had four. So he should have been anti-ing first, but yeah. Ooh, that extra one priority. Okay, so that means we won't be clashing, which means I'll be, quote-unquote, safe this beat. Yeah, there's the residual shot. We want to stay adjacent. Let's begin. And by that, I mean I want to take center space, right? So now that I've taken center space, he now has the opportunity to... Nope, I will not retreat. This is where I want to be. Uh, now my opponent will have the op opportunity to go here or go here. Of course, he will choose to stay where he is or change sides. But he doesn't want to go here because that disables his burst. Quite an interesting game. So he has the strike in hand. Yes. It's fine to eat the strike, right? So he has the power. So if he anti's oh, so he doesn't have power. So I think the only thing that would beat me here is like, not even substantial grasp, because he if he anti's power, uh, SG power, oh sorry, force gauge power, I can do um, Catrine's refinement or I can do force gauge uh, stun guard. So this should be a safe attack. Um, again, I want to build up that drive and um, you know, you, you got to have some drive when you play Balcon online. Also, if you notice, my camera is different now, so that's good. So I'll pass. We'll see what my opponent does. Extra range. What could he be doing? This is probably transformative strike. Right? Oh, I'm gonna he eat six damage. That's not good. I'm gonna eat six damage, aren't I? Unfortunate. Well, at least I picked the right attack. Oh, he's doing priority. Okay. That means I should do priority. So always counter anti-priority, everyone. Especially when you're fighting for priority. It's very important. Because if that strike goes faster than me, I'm getting stunned. I can't allow it. Uh, so he passed. I'll pass. We'll see what this is. Yup, it's the f transformative strike. So we want to drive one, so that end of beat we can go back into the center. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh man, that's so good. That's so good. I will advance one space to take the center board again. Again, I want to keep the center. How's his drive looking? His drive's not upgraded at all, so I shouldn't be afraid of it. So his strike is the scary one. All right. I mean, no, we're not going to do that. Um, so you can do substantial drive. Which is six priority. I have, you know what? Grand Arcanum. 
Because I expect a substantial drive. And if he does burst or dodge, that's fine. I don't think the, do the burst or the dodge will kill me. So it's fine. Of course, if he anti's priority, it's, it's pointless, right? But we'll see. Let's hope he passes. Let's try this. Let's try this indeed. Pass. So he might think I'm dodging. Or rather, he might think I'm doing something like a strike. So he might not anti the priority. Which I hope he doesn't, you know? Um, again, you gotta take some risks sometimes. Uh, especially in the start where he read my move perfectly and he, I ate a strike for it. The Grand Arcanum. Oh, there you go. There's the dodge. Alright, that's fine. Now I'm at the huge force deficit, but that's that's okay. Let's begin. So I don't think he has anything that can kill me. Okay, that's a wrong graphic, by the way. I do not get my cards back. Oh, wait. Oh, see there. I don't get my cards back. This should do. Okay. I'm just gonna try to deal damage. So the next rounds are gonna literally just be um, something dodge, and then I'm gonna need to drive at some point. Uh, my opponent does not have access to his Grand Arcanum, which is good. Anti-power, I guess. Sharpening. So that Grand Arcanum wasn't actually that bad for me. <laughs> I wish I had played something else, of course, but um, it's all gonna fall into plan. My opponent's dodge is down. I'm gonna hit with a seven power strike. He's gonna put. Okay. I'm gonna hit with a seven power strike. That's gonna be a good beat for me. Um, his drive is not good. His um, shot is the next best base he has. Uh, how much damage does his shot have, actually? It's three. Okay. Increasing resilience. Okay, he's anting a lot of guard onto this. This is an install. This is very, very much an install. Of course, I'm also scared of the Alchemical Grasp, but... Um, yeah, Alchemical Grasp is really bad, I think, in this beat. Of course, unless he hard reads me. Then that hard read will be well deserved. Nope, it's a residual shot, as predicted. Disintegrate! Disintegrate! Ah! Let's begin. So I should have done transformative. But that would have clashed, which is not what I wanted. So that's actually good. So experimental strike turned out the way I wanted it to, which is great. Now it all matters of whether or not my opponent will get my dodge play. Let's begin. So if he has to move the center. Oh, he cornered himself. So if he does transformative drive, I lose.
So it's transformative drive. That's that's what we're worried about. Because no other attack would hit. That's for priority. I don't have anything else with four priority. I played the wrong move. Uh, I played the wrong move? Timers, why? I should have done transformative. Ah, fast. Uh, this is the drive, I lose. Ah, timers, timers! Oh, I hate timers so much. Sharpening. Power. I mean, I've given you all the power you need, buddy boy, so... It's either I'm getting out of this one or I'm dead. I mean, it's just that simple. Let's see if the substantial dodge works. I mean, if he's doing a grasp or something here, I think I turn out fine. The drive is my big complaint. The drive is the most obvious play as well. So, I mean, I don't know why. Like, again, timers. See, like... Okay, he's going faster. That's fine. If we clash, that's actually a good thing. So, I'm passing. So, now that we're clashing at 6 priority when he does substantial drive. Or rather, um... Yeah, the clash! Oh, I lose because his strike. Right. <laughs> he has strike. Shucks! Hey, that was a close game at least. Oh wow, jeez, sorry. Don't take it too hard. That was a good game, that was a good game. And so that's probably how you should play Riflum. Not from my part, but uh, Daniel played it really well. And um, so what did I learn that game? Actually, that was a pretty good game, you know? I didn't actually lose a lot. Timers are a big problem, though. I need to be able to uh, pick moves faster. Commentating and playing the game at the same time is atrociously hard. Um, so I'm sorry about that. It's not gonna be the best Riflum play you've seen ever, but there you go. That's probably how you play Riflum, whether it's uh, Daniel or Tyrankin playing Riflum, or me, Daniel, playing Riflum. So um, I hope you guys really like this episode, and very fortunately, in this episode, they did beat me. But, as usual, remember that every loss is just another step to getting better. Without much else to say, thanks for watching, and good night.